Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, this is the next video covering the Hover Games drone. I'm going to walk through the setup of a companion computer that we ultimately want to get onto the aircraft and do some autonomous work. And this video will be rather technical in nature, so it requires just some knowledge of Linux and being able to install packages and run uh, commands from the command line. Now, ultimately, I want to get to be able to use the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, but I wanted to start it with Raspberry Pi because I'm more familiar uh, with this hardware. And let me demonstrate with initial communication and then we'll get into actually setting everything up, installing the libraries and uh, running Mavros. So this is a ROS and Mavros based system running on Pi, communicating to PX4 uh, over the serial port. And I'm going to launch uh, the Mavros node, see a bunch of information showing up and I'm going to try to execute a command. So I'll go out to the main terminal. I'm going to run a command that basically tries to arm Pixhawk that will fail because uh, we haven't configured it. But here we go. So that demonstrates uh, the ability to uh, use Mavros to communicate with Pixhawk. And now let's dive into the technical aspects of this setup. Before we get started with the ROS installation, uh, let me talk about a few assumptions that I'm making in this video. First is that this is a specific to Raspberry Pi 4 and given that the current Raspbian version is Buster, I was not able to install ROS on Buster due to some known issues and I didn't really want to get into all of that. So what I ended up doing is installing Ubuntu server for Raspberry Pi and there's a link to it in this gist and this gist should cover a lot of what we need. I would recommend if you guys go through this, uh, have suggestions or run into problems, just please put a comment down here. Let's sort of use this as a working document uh, to improve this process. And the Ubuntu server, I did basically 18.04.4 LTS for Raspberry Pi 4 was able to burn that using Etcher. So I'm going to assume that you guys know how to download it, burn the image with Etcher and be able to uh, get up and running. Now, because it's a server version, you're only going to have the command line, no desktop. And the first challenge that I ran into uh, was just the wireless network component. So there's another gist link in here. I won't bore you guys with the details. As you likely know, the Raspberry Pi 4 has Wi-Fi built in. So I, originally connected to my network using ethernet cable. I had to download some tools, uh, run this net plan. There's a link to a stack exchange article that talks about it. So you want to make sure that you have connectivity so that you're able to uh, download the packages in this tutorial, as well as connect to your uh, raspberry Pi over your local network. Let's dive into the installation instructions for Ross Melodic. I'm currently on my MacBook and I'm going to uh, shell into the Raspberry Pi. So we'll just use the default user, uh, the Ubuntu user. And in the gist, you'll see several commands. These all came from the link that I have at the top of the gist, the Rost Melodic uh, installation instructions. So be sure to follow those. We'll go through these quickly. I'm just going to copy and paste. We need to uh, set up our sources as well as the key server. Don't worry about really understanding all of this. I'm not going to lie. I understand very little of it. Uh, we'll do an update. So that may take a little bit. And we're going to focus on the Ross Melodic base installation. If we look at the installation instructions, there are several different types of installations we can do. If you're running this on a, a desktop with a monitor, you, know, you can get a lot of the visualization tools. So you could run this. Uh, desktop full version, but we're doing the base version because we are on Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu server, and we just need the core components to be able to then install Mavros. So I'm just going to uh, copy this installation command, and then uh, what will happen is we'll get prompted. We want to continue with the packages. You can see all of these packages that come with ROS base installation, the ROS melodic base installation is complete. Let's look at what we do next. We then run this uh, bash script 
we'll do this echo source and what it will do is it'll put this uh, command inside our bash rc so i'm going to run it and then i'm going to show you what the bash rc looks like you can see that it's just appended here at the bottom and let me explain why this command is important so anytime we log into a terminal access the shell uh, this will get executed and what this does is for example if I do a print env and I look for any sort of ROS environment variables they don't exist but each time that we access our terminal this is going to get executed and now if I execute this command you can see these environment variables. So for example, if I log in from another terminal to Raspberry Pi, it's going to run the bash RC. I'll just do a print env again, grep ros, and then there we have our variable. So at this point, we can actually run ros core, and that's sort of the uh, master program that's running so that if we create ROS nodes, they can communicate with each other. I've control C to kill ROS core, and let's move on to installing MavROS. Uh, once again, these are in the gist. I'll put a link to the gist below. If you guys are going through this process, we'll go ahead and let these uh, MavROS packages install. The next step is uh, we're gonna grab these geographic data sets. We're just going to uh, pull them from GitHub that will download it locally. Uh, you'll need to make sure that it's executable. And to be honest, I really have no clue what these data sets do. Hopefully I can learn a little bit more about them as I get further down the road. Sometimes you just gotta follow the directions. So we're going to execute uh, that script. And since I had done this previously, these data sets already exist. Uh, yours will likely be a fresh install. And that's all that we need to do uh, to get everything up and running. Next, I'll go over the connection process. We'll do a simple test and we'll call it done. We're back to the desktop. I have Pi that I just showed, uh, the installation process of ROS Melodic as well as MavROS. And I've got this USB cable plugged in. I'm going to connect it to PixSock. Now, ultimately, this is something we're going to a convert in an upcoming video to run off of the telemetry port. But for now, let me just connect this over the serial port. So we're connected. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to another screen in my terminal. Just do the screen command. Uh, that will allow us to start ROS. There's a command that will use ROS launch, mavros px4.launch, that's the px4 launch file cover all of this uh, in the future. But let me just go ahead and launch this to demonstrate that we're successfully set up, we're communicating. Uh, there's a bunch of ROS nodes that will be available to us. And I'm going to go back to my other terminal window. Let me run a, a command that will allow us to dump all of the uh, PX4 parameters to a text file. I'll also include a link below to a gist that has a bunch of different commands that you can run just to, uh, to test. So if I do a listing, we can see that params text file. Let's just take a quick look at it. Here are all the params that you might uh, normally see, whether it's mission plan or Q ground control. Uh, these are exposed to us uh, using MavROS, which is just basically a, a bridge from ROS using Mavlink to a PX4 compatible flight controller. I know this was a long video. I just wanted to share this. I'm really excited about uh, what comes next. We're gonna do some programming, uh, interfacing with the NXP Hover Games drone, and I'll be sure to uh, share an update soon. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.